it's 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 so easy just to lose weight. Why don't you just lose weight? Yeah. As if as if you just turn on a switch and oh, all of a sudden I can get thin. And there's a lot of differences in metabolism. And, you know, from what I understand, women are more likely to survive starvation and things like that. Like our bodies really hold on to the calories more, Mm -hmm. Um, you know, so it may not be as easy. Like I know I had, you know, an ex that, when he when we he and I were dieting together, he would lose weight so much faster than I would. Oh yeah, and it was infuriating. <laughs> oh, I can imagine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But uh, I mean, it. But yeah, that's that's it's bothersome because these these you know these people. I get that they have a certain idea of what they want the models they like to look like. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, it's not up to them. It's not up to because if you decided to lose a lot of weight, say for mm-hmm. whatever reason, it's like right. okay, yeah. You know, maybe I lose some fans because they don't want to see me this small. Right. But this idea that there's this entitlement that you have to stay a certain body type for my enjoyment and my satisfaction. Exactly. It's, you know. And I, I actually did have some work done then after I had put the weight on. So I had a tummy tuck and some lipo. Okay. But I still, you know, I may get more lipo. lipo. I may not worry about it. Mm -hmm. Um, I wasn't, I knew I wasn't going to be thin or anything, but I felt like my stomach was just starting to kind of take over with that's a common thing with PCOS where you get Mm -hmm. a lot of belly fat plus aging. Yeah. And I just wasn't liking how my shape was changing and it was getting um, more difficult to be mobile. Like Mm -hmm. I felt like I had to take a lot more breaks when I was walking. I had trouble like bending over to tie my shoes. Yeah. Honestly, sex was more difficult in certain positions because my stomach would be in my way, kind of suffocating me. Okay. Um, and I, you know, I had lower back pain and stuff. So, you know, so I did that and I think it has improved, um, you know, my mobility and I like my shape better. I think it makes my boobs and my butt actually look bigger when my middle's smaller. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, you know, I've only heard like a couple negative things from people about it. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it's just, I wish that a lot of these guys would stop making these kind of comments on, on women's posts whenever they have any kind of change in their body. Because I've seen it where they get mad at women for for dieting or having like weight loss surgery or, or different things done to their body. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, like I said, also if people gain weight. Yeah. Like we don't need this running commentary. How would guys feel if a, a woman was constantly giving a rundown on the state of their hairline? Yeah. It, what what imagine like, wow, you've lost so much hair since last year. You're going to soon be bald. <laughs> yeah. Right. How would that make them feel? <laughs> yeah, I can. Yeah, I can imagine that that's a that that would not be very pleasant from that perspective. Because even if that woman liked bald guys, still, mm-hmm. you're going to have you. You might not feel that way. You yeah. might be running to go get hair plugs if yeah. somebody said that, you know, I want to look like George Costanza. Right. Yeah, right. I, I want no, to sell. You, you have a great yeah, no, 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 hairline. No, no. So. Yeah, yeah, that, well, thank you. I just, for 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 now, hopefully, hopefully it stays with me. But yeah. no, but you know, I get what you mean because men, it seems like the two things that men physically are the most insecure about is their hair and their height. Mm-hmm. Because I think those are the two things that women tend to be. You know, because you know, I have heard. I'll, I'll say this: I have heard the most comments or the most like hardline physical nose. Based on, oh, he can't be bald and he can't be short. Mm-hmm. You you reminded me of something I wanted to say. Okay. So in the industry and outside of that, to an extent in like the fat admiring community, mm-hmm. they like to categorize us into like BBW and SSBBW. Mm-hmm. I personally don't care for the SSBBW. Now I have been called that sometimes. Some people would say I am, some people would say I'm not, mm-hmm. but I wish that we didn't have to have such a classification. I wish we could just all be fat or all be <laughs> BBWs. Yeah. And to me, it's like if you took a five foot seven man or five foot six man, and you took like a five foot three or five foot four man, you don't need to call the shorter guy a micro mini man. He's just another short guy. Is that what guy. they call them? No, but I'm but saying I'm, yeah, to, yeah, yeah, yeah. in my yeah, mind, yeah, 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 SSBBW right. is, is, is an extra is, classification. Exactly. And okay. it's it's like you really don't need to do that. A micro like mini man. Like we're all just fat. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was just imagining that. Sorry, yeah, because when you see, yeah, when you see short guys that are that short, you're like, wow. Yeah, you don't need to like double down. Yeah, on you it. don't need to kind of ex- you know put some ex- some more emphasis on the fact that they are shorter than even a short guy. Right. Exactly. So. And our weights can fluctuate, and maybe somebody 
fits this classification one year and the next year they don't. Or it's just kind of, to me, it's very arbitrary and silly and stupid. Well, and I mean, I feel like, well, do you think SSBBW was created by the adult industry? I'm not sure. Now I want to, I, I want to say that I no shade to the women who use yeah, that no, to no, market no, and no, make no, no. money. And no, and if you consider yourself that you are fine with the term and you like it, there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah. It's just my opinion is I wish that we didn't have to have these that like could just little be all under the umbrella right. of, of BBW. Yeah, exactly. Well, but it's, interesting too because sometimes when you look at like the nominations for for bbws that there is a wide range you have some women in there that are i almost feel like barely qualify because they're right. they're sm- like they're curvy but they're not you know i think it's difficult now because they're it's it's hard because yes you have some that in the real world would not be considered fat women yeah in in street clothes you would not say oh look at that big lady over there it, but in the industry, you know, and being curvier, they're put into the category with us. Yeah. You know, whereas it's it's like there's not really like an in-between category mm-hmm. for like, say, thick women. Like a medium size. Right. Like you can mid-size. have your size. Yeah. Mid size. There you go. Your coops. There you, um, right. you, you know, you got your sedans and then you got your compacts and then your coops are in the middle for <laughs> right. for, for it. But um, no. Well, and that's the thing. Well, and because like you look at the and there I mean, there are some, I think, performers that are able to, to kind of cross that line of being because, you know, BBW is still more considered a niche in in adult in the adult world. So, but you you know, you've had some performers now that have been on like browsers on their main mm-hmm. stuff that, or some other sites. Uh, so I think that there is, but yeah, but I agree though, that there's, there should be some sort of middle ground because I don't, I mean, do you have like a specific, like to you, do you have a specific point where you're like, this is a BBW, this isn't a BBW. Like, do you I, think it's based on weight? Do you think it's based on body type, like body size? Like, what do you think? I think it's hard to tell, but I feel like if you're shopping in straight size stores, like a Macy's and, or a well, well, like if you're like if you're not wearing plus sizes, okay, and you're you know not really short, mm-hmm. then to me that's not really a, a BBW. Like, so if you can still buy normal retail. For the most part, you okay. know, like I, f- I feel like most of these women outside of marketing reasons would not consider themselves to be BBW. Now, mm-hmm. like I said, no shade to people who are using these yeah, to make that. money and have to do this because there that, is no yeah. midsize. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not their fault. And I don't, no, 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 no. you know, and I, and, and I have friends that are like that. So, well, um, but just like, I think a lot of BBW and fat admirers would mm-hmm. be like, that's not the BBW, you know? Yeah. 